Salve, salve, guitar community. The next video is devoted for um, a strumming pattern, okay? When you're trying to perform something that requires the groove of two and four, um, there isn't necessarily a stop that we produce with our hands, on the right hand specifically. So we're going to walk through this strumming. Um, again, I'm going to use my student Luke to show you some of the things that you want to be careful with, okay? Um, most of all, it's all about how you move. So I'm going to move the camera here. And basically, it's important to keep your hands stable, moving your fingers, and also be maintain your wrist stable. So we're going to discuss those details. With no further ado, let's go on the guitar journey together. So basically, first let me just show you what the strumming that I'm talking about looks like. I'm going to move the camera away so you can focus on my right hand, okay? Basically, if you're doing something like... What is happening right now, I use my thumb to produce the first beat. So you're doing one and two. And you want to emphasize beat two, therefore you're doing one and two, one and two, one and two. And to produce this stop um, in slow motion, essentially all you're doing, you're moving down, up, and then a brusque opening with all your four fingers and the palm of your hands is dampening the strings, okay? And then you can carry as usual, you can, you can do one and two. Obviously, I would like for you to be able to practice this in slow motion. So if I put on the metronome here, this seems like a good speed. I'll move on now to show you example of some of the things that you need to be careful with, especially on the right hand. Um, I'll use Luke. This was this video was taken during our last lesson on Saturday. Okay, so hopefully that will help you. Okay, the way you just did right now, you move the wrist a little bit. Try to move just your finger. Look at your knuckle. Don't move your hand so much. Do something here okay let's pause this so we're gonna try this again a little bit you're gonna keep your wrist stable you're just gonna move your fingers in what direction sideways right try doing that okay relax for a second rest completely try it again get ready to play all right now before you play it Think about everything that's going to happen. Do you want your hand to move sideways when you're moving that? Yes or no? No. No, you want your finger to move sideways. Also, what's the other thing we need to watch for? Your thumb needs to be a little more what? Forward. Right? Otherwise, what happens with your, your eye finger? It gets in the way, right? Okay. With all that in mind, no pressure at all. <laughs> Try to move your finger sideways. Just the finger. You're moving your hand still. Try to move this way. But keep your wrist. Don't move your wrist. Just move your finger. Like that. In the next section of the video, I'll, I'll show you how we, how, what we're striving for. I'll do it, okay? better keep going your wrist is not moving as much so based on the first two examples of you saw that uh, during the lesson I was working with Luke some of the things that you definitely need to avoid uh, first of all he was struggling in particular let me move the camera one more time he was struggling with he would do just fine in moving down and up 
But then when he was moving this finger up, he was bringing his hand as well. And consequently, also his wrist. And he's turning his wrist around. You know, in slow motion, that might work when you're trying to play something at a faster speed. It's not going to work. Uh, we've been over through this in other concepts. You're always trying to do the most efficient move. And therefore, what we're looking, striving for, specifically with this finger, is you need to move this type of movement. That's the type of movement that the guitar makes in the game all the time. Even if you are playing an arpeggio, that's why practicing for arpeggios, you're also, um, in a way or another, practicing for your strumming if you're trying to do the correct movement. One more time. See the difference? This is what's happening. This is what we're looking for. Not this. Or this. Okay, I'm exaggerating in a way or another, but avoid that. Alright. So, hopefully after uh, watching the video and going over the concept, uh, watching what not to do, how you can get there, uh, basically, I would say you need to find a fine distance between your hand and the strings, okay? Uh, what's the exact distance that your finger need between this part and this part where the strings are? So you can move freely. Also, just to mention, also the thumb. Uh, I talked about this in other lessons. The thumb needs to be somewhat forward away from the other fingers because if it's too much if it's here what happens it gets on the way okay and this is gonna avoid mobility this lesson the only thing that uh, the person this lesson is for you to work on this particular type of strumming okay and to avoid some of those mistakes if you have any questions you know where to find me otherwise you can stay flame and I'll see you in the next video lesson ciao